going to be talking about how to admin on Facebook effectively. Now, when you go to Facebook, of course, you're assuming you're already logged in, and you're on your home page right here. Over here off to the side, you will see the pages that you're an admin for and the groups that you're an admin for. As you can see, I'm an admin on a, a few groups. So we're going to go to Life of Fred. It is a curriculum written by the genius Dr. Schmidt, Stanley Schmidt, who uh, has this little character, Fred, and he's a five-year-old who teaches at Kittens University. So we're going to talk about that. So when you go to your Life of Fred, or whatever group you're admin in, it's going to be here. If you can't find it, you can always just type in. Just type a couple words and it'll come up. Okay, so we're already there. Now, what you're going to need to do is you come here and you see Request 13 and you go to Click All. I actually have it opened up over here. So I'm going to close that. Okay, so a couple things. Um, as you can see, Life of Fred, we get many, many, many requests daily. And a couple things right away. See this Peyton Percy? I cannot click on that name. I'm blocked. This one I can. I can see who, who their, um, I, I can go to their timeline page. So if, if at any time you get something where it's black, it's blocked, immediately ignore them. Just block them. They have no business wanting to be a part of our group if they're just going to block us. The other thing that's really easy, see how this one says one friend in the group? So with that one, I don't even bother. I just go ahead and approve immediately. So now you have all of the, oh wait, one more. Joined less than a month ago. Those I immediately ignore because history is found over and over again. They are just spammers. See, they're already a member of 26 groups, but yet they only joined Facebook less than a month ago. Really? I mean, are you really that active in these groups if you've only been on Facebook for a month? So go ahead and just ignore anything that says less than a month ago, or sometimes they say more than a month ago. Anything that says a month, just ignore it. It'll either say a month or a year. It won't say anything else. So go ahead and ignore those. Let's see, a month ago, ignore that. Uh, this one is not going away. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, if it wasn't going to go the third time, I was just going to block it. Um, a year ago, a year ago. Okay, everything else. Is, now you are left with, what did you get rid of? Three? Now you're left with ten. So what I always do is start down at the bottom here first because the, these are the they've been waiting the longest. So I do a right click, I do open a new window because you want to get back to that, back to this page, and it's moving slow. Okay, uh, open a new, new window. So what do you to look for? How do you know if this person truly is a person that wants to be involved with your group? A couple things I look at, I go from top to bottom. I look at this. Yes, it's a very family-oriented page. Um, something's going on here in the family. I look down. Boom, immediately. Tennessee homeschool curriculum swap. Okay, so... They are in some kind of homeschool. I still look though a little bit. Then uh, scroll down. Okay, we have some graduation going on. Um, just just making sure. Oh, here's that picture. Okay, just making sure that they are a real person. They are alive. 
they are, you know, just not spamming. Hopefully we can come across one that spams so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this looks good. If I think I need to look at more, these are so cute. When did they make that? Oh, okay. If I feel I need to look more, another place is, if I'm not getting enough information, that is, you go to About. Now this name, typically it's a girl's name, Carla. Sometimes on About, which it's not right now, They'll say, you know, if they are male or female, and right now it doesn't. Oh, let's see, details about Carla. Doesn't show. Okay. Um, but if it says male, and you can't find anything on the timeline page, here, like, there's not enough information. It says male, but yet it's a girl's name. I immediately close it out, and boom. Uh, ignore them. So this one's pretty good. So we'll close that out and then we will approve Carla Sturgeon. Now let's let's finish these off. Let's go on to Jamie. I'm really hoping to find something that won't be good to approve or I need more information. Okay, again, very family, very cute family. Look at that, very adorable. Okay, uh, let's see here. Redeeming childbirth. Now, okay, I have to tell you, tell you something. Just because the last one said homeschool, that doesn't mean that we only want homeschoolers in the life of Fred group. You have to go according to the makeup of your group. Now our group is educational. So, so far, redeeming childbirth, I don't really know what that's about. C.S. Lewis, I know is a Christian writer and that fits with the homeschool genre. Um, when heaven invades. So she seems to be a Christian. Um, and here she posts, if I spend my time worrying about how you parent your how about how you parent your children, that's precious time I can't use to raise my own. So here's um something about parenting, choosing boys. I don't oh no not that oh I guess that's a that's music, okay? I don't anything about that. Um Young Living Essential Oils, that's fits with what I've seen homeschool genre. Um, okay, so this seems to be pretty good. She seems to be right up the alley. So we're going to go ahead and approve Jamie. We don't need to check her about. Okay. Close that. And approve. All right, let's open up case. Okay, now on case, this doesn't tell me anything. This doesn't tell me anything. No big deal. Let's keep moving on. Oh, there's a the handstand. Fundraiser, okay. Um, let's see. Bad news. Okay, so this is a good example. I can't find anything out about Case on here. Um, by looking at her photos, looking at her. Oh, wait, here we go. Your CrossFit baby when? Okay, so it's a little toddler, maybe a little bit older than a toddler, which is not the right age for Life of Fred because it's a curriculum when you're in school. So this isn't telling me anything. So I have to go back up. This doesn't mean that Case cannot be part of the group. I go to the About 
often lately it hasn't told me anything. There's nothing in there. Okay. So go back up. I try to look for photos. Okay, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be given much information on photos. Nope. Okay. This might be a good example. If you go to Methodist Church, okay. Um, Holly Springs buy and sell, okay, but it's just nothing that's homeschool related. Um, if I have time, if I take the video, I will do this. Um, I will send them a message. Um, and if they really want to be a part of it, then they will write back. Um, hello. Would you please tell me more about yourself and why you to be a part of the club? Thank you. Okay, I don't always send a message, quite honestly. I usually don't have time. There's usually way too many people that want to be in the life of flood group. A lot of times I'll just, if I can't figure out, See, I can't even friend this person. If I can't figure out much about them, I just hit ignore. If they really went back in, they'll either send me a message or one of the admins a message, or they'll try it again. And I may not remember that they tried before, or I might not have gotten them. Maybe some other admin got them. Um, if they send you a message, it may show up here in the other folder. Or it may not, it may show in the inbox because you initiated it. So, um, let's go on to trade. So that was a good example of someone that you really need more information from in order to be able to let them into the group. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see. Okay, family oriented, good. Uh, let's see. Very little information it seems like we're gonna get. There's some photos, nothing with the groups. And it is okay to not let everybody in the group. All right, well, I'm not finding much. See, sometimes um, up here by them, they'll say homeschool mom or could be homeschool dad, although I normally see that. Um, honestly, more and more I'm finding not any information here. Usually uh, in the past it said what sex they are, if they're married or not. Um, and this one is really restrictive on the settings. So I can't find out more about this. It's a marine mom, right? Yeah, marine mom. They have some kids, but that doesn't tell me much about why they want to be in the group. So for sake of time, close it and hit ignore. All right, let's go to Ruby. Ruby, take a look here. Ruby has been on Facebook for more than a year, but is a part of zero groups and quite honestly I do find that a little bit tough to believe because if you've been on Facebook for a little while usually you're part of some kind of group something oh, let's close that get rid of that all right Ruby uh, let's see we have nothing personal can't tell anything at all about her 
children's literature, okay. Uh, classical academic press, HSLDA. Here we go. Okay, teaching textbooks. Okay, so Ruby is just really private and I, these are things that she likes. It's just not a part of a group. Recent activity, children's literature. Hmm. Ruby is a perplexing one for me. However, it does seem, see, she's not very active on Facebook. But she has a lot of homeschool pages. These are pages. Not in any group. She's probably looking to buy some Life of Fred books or maybe exploring it. So seeing as she's very homeschoolish, um, she probably is interested in Life of Fred. I'm going to click on more and see what else. What else is she on here? Church religious organization, Stand Up for the Truth. Um, not that you have to be a Christian with Life of Fred, but if you get to know Life of Fred a little bit, you will know that Dr. Stanley Schmidt, uh, he is a Christian. So Ruby actually was surprising to me. Ruby will actually get in. So we will approve Ruby. Okay, so let's finish these up. There's only a few more. And then we're going to go on to other managing. All right, so here's mom with some kids. All right. Um, couponing, buy, sell, and trade, going on a ferry. And I kind of read stuff on there because you, you do really get to know, um, a person by what they put on their, their Facebook and what groups they're involved. And sometimes I completely not allow people in because there's some pretty raunchy things or things that's just not part of the atmosphere that we want in Life of Fred. I mean, they don't have to believe the same things I believe in. They don't have to, um, but, but it is a family, uh, group and there are some standards we have to keep. So, she, uh, this Michelle, uh, she seems like she could be in, uh, let's see. Okay. Sometimes it's neat because I get to find out groups that I didn't know about or articles I want to read. But... We will, um, I want to read that article later, but um, we will approve Michelle. Okay, other things with being an admin. Um, go through and look through the post. Be active on it. it. It might not even be something that you're interested in. Like, I'm not really interested in CTC math. Um, but look at the comments that are on there. Um, sometimes people need help. Uh, please help me find good YouTube video explaining the coefficient of force. We just started Life of Fred. The videos I'm finding are way too complicated. Oh, there's no comments on here. Oh, here's this one. Um, and then, you know, if you can help, then please put a comment. Um, sometimes you need to just like it so that it'll bump up so other people will see the comment. Um, anyone use readers also? Are they worth the investment? Okay, so you scan through and just make sure that the conversation is on target. Make sure it's appropriate. Make sure no fights are breaking out. Even if it's something, um... Let me take a look here. Something 
that may not interest me. Another thing is pictures. If they want to sell their book, they must always 100% post their pictures. You can tell this is theirs and it's not a stock photo because it's on wood table. Um, and they'll have some kind of background. Like if you go, but you probably know what stock photos are, but Amazon and look up, let's take a look here, Life of Bread. Computer's going slow. You see, these are stock photos with all the background on it. So if they post a picture like this, then you have to go on there and say, please post your picture. Um, or sometimes I will delete the post and and make an um, send her a private message and say please post your picture and then go in the group up top and what is her name here her name is Martha Appenzeller Appleson then I'll go up here and say Martha and it should come up and there it is and then say, whoops, I sent you a PM. Please check your other folder. And then um, I would send a message saying, you know, I, I had to delete your photo because I did not feel, uh, because it looked very like a stock photo and you had to, um, post your own photos. So we'll delete that so I don't accidentally send that off. Uh, let's see, and if I accidentally did send it off, uh, you can always go and hit this down arrow and then hit edit or delete. Um, this should remain pinned at all times. If you're adminning a different group, they'll have different rules about what is pinned. Um, but this is the one that we're going to stay up top. What else to tell you about? So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all of um, there is to know about adminning Life of Fred. Welcome aboard and have fun adminning.